Good morning. There's a lot of things going on in the news these days, as I'm sure you're well aware. One of the things a lot of people are talking about is the SHARE Act got pushed back, which would have taken silencers, or suppressors, whatever your term is, off of the NFA and made it to where either just do a simple background check like regular pistol or rifle or even just like you were going to buy a muzzle brake. So I'm going to try to do this video real quick and tell you why that I own a silencer and plan to own more and why I don't think they're really that big a deal. And after the very tragic, tragic event in Las Vegas, still processing the crime scene just hours after it happened, Hillary got on Twitter and said, you know, imagine if the gunman had silencers. Oh, goodness. Like that would have really made a difference. For one, everything he was shooting was supersonic. Silencer is not going to make that big a difference on supersonic stuff. Even subsonic. I can only shoot five rounds, five, six rounds at most with this without saying, okay, I need to put my ears back on. Because you do still get a crack, especially in a semi-auto gun. And now my reasoning for owning a silencer and why I think anybody should be able to own one is I don't personally believe that anybody, any entity, any government should be able to tell me how best to defend my family. As I've stated before, this setup right here with the silencer on it is my go-to main number one home defense weapon option. If you've ever shot a gun with that hearing protection on, you'll know that they are very, very loud. And if you've ever shot a gun indoors, even just a small pistol without hearing protection on, you'll know that those, especially indoors, are very, very loud. And one key thing, in the event of a home defense situation, you got one, two, three people, even more, whatever, you know, a bunch of ninja zombies try to break into your house. Communication is very, very important. I have a young son, and my wife. If I've just put 10 shots down the hallway, whatever, through an unsuppressed gun, that's going to be very loud. I'm going to be disoriented. They are especially going to be disoriented because most likely, you know, if I have to shoot, I'm going to know the gunshots are coming, but they're not. So everybody's ears are going to be ringing. You're going to be deaf for a little bit. Not completely deaf, but, you know, they need to hear the directions I will give them. Stay in your room, go to the bathroom, hide, get down, whatever. If I don't have a suppressor on my gun, they may not hear or understand that. This can be a key device aiding that communication. Plus the fact that they take, this one took me nine months to get, about nine and a half months. And with my day job, I have been through so, so many very, very extensive background checks that the government probably knows more about me than I do. In fact, I know they do. Cat's out of the bag on that one. I, I don't think they're an issue. I think if you want to own one, you should be able to walk down to the corner drugstore and pick one up. Well, not the corner drugstore, but the corner gun store. Or order one offline and have it shipped to your house even have it shipped to a dealer, whatever, do a background check on it, simple 4473, even that would be a big advantage. So thanks for watching, and just remember, suppressors are not that big a deal. So for now, and for always, I'm going to keep this one on my gun, and keep it at the ready. Thanks for watching.